Good morning, happy Thursday. So this is how I take a quick, literally quick, like five minute shower. I put her in here with a bunch of stuff and Phoenix kind of just runs back and forth. Most of the time he's sitting on the bed watching something or playing with a puzzle or something. Today he's just running back and forth looking for, for letters. What letter are you looking for? E. E? Are you trying to spell meatballs? Let's look in here. So I set them up. Look, there's an E in there. Right here, buddy, look. Oh, he's going to come looking for the T. So I set them up, and then I put the, I have the baby monitor up here. So I put, take it to the bathroom with me, but the bathroom is literally right there. But just so that if she's fuss, if she does start fussing, I can look at her and see. Most of the time I give her her bottle at this point, but she's not fussing for it. So I'm just going to take advantage and take a quick shower. Literally five minute shower, guys. I, that's what I take. So, so did I show you? What else are you looking for? Ouch. Or maybe not. I don't know. B. So he just moved the whole bed and made a big mess. A, B. Okay, you do that, Mommy. He's going to take a quick shower, okay? He, he doesn't care. And I ended up ordering a new monitor because I couldn't find a second camera for this one. Aaron, I read your message this morning after I ordered it already about looking on eBay. I totally forgot about eBay, but I'm going to look anyway just in case because I could always return the other one. ABCs. But I ordered ABCs. I ordered a VTech smart sound something. I don't know. It comes with two cameras and the one monitor. So I can't. Um, I am excited for that to arrive so that I can watch both of them. D. What are you looking for? <laughs> Go Avery. Go Avery monkey. Like you. You're wearing a monkey. These are Phoenix's old pajamas. So cute. All right. Let me stop talking and go take a shower. So it's laundry time. I feel like I haven't done laundry in a while, but I'm sure I did a few days ago. But I just was making a crock pot meal for later where my, I was making... um. What am I making? Meatball subs. So putting all the meatballs in the sauce and then I always put like a little bit of water in the, in the cup in the container of sauce to like get all the sauce out and put it but it must have been hot because it broke and there was glass and sauce everywhere it was all over me i had to go change my shirt uh it was horrible all over the floor i didn't get on my feet thankfully but it was not pleasant so i just had to do that and now i came down to do some laundry Real quick, put this laundry in because it takes me like all day to do laundry. Does it take anybody else all day? <laughs> because I feel like I forget and then I have to like come back down. And it's not easy for me to come down when the kids are awake, like unless they're entertaining, like right now, because then Phoenix wants to come down and then he doesn't want to go back up. So, and I'm gonna bring Avery's a different walker up because she seems to not be like satisfied in anything lately, even on the floor. Like she seems bored. So I'm going to change it up for her. I don't know if you guys can hear her screaming. And then I got some meat out from the deep freezer for tomorrow, possibly. And yeah, so it's a happy Thursday. It is ugly and gloomy out, which stinks. Um, because it's just like, ugh, I hate when it's like that. Not that I had really plans to go anywhere, but I just hate when it's days like that. I can't wait. For it to start getting nice and sunny and I can actually go out when Phoenix doesn't have therapy. It's so hard to actually go out because he has therapy right up to nap time. And even if I wanted to skip his nap, it's hard because Avery's napping. So I'm not, I don't want to wake her up. But I guess I could just always try to put her to nap in the car seat while he has therapy. This way I can just take her. That's a good idea. Just thought of. Um... Because once it gets nice out, I don't want to be stuck in here that often, even though he has therapy twice a day most days. So, anyway, let me stop rambling and do this faster. Anybody else? This kid cried their eyes out when change a diaper. She is just at that point in diaper changing where she's moving and then she like cries. She was just crying her eyes out when I changed her poopy butt. Hey, we crying? She was excited when I put her in this, so 
We're gonna swap it out for a little bit. She likes like all the lights and stuff. And she was actually moving herself on the rug. So we're gonna leave this up here for a bit and take this downstairs for a little bit, switch it up so that she's excited. Phoenix is eating his breakfast. Listening to his ABCs. Are you eating? So I was washing some dishes. I just came over here. And look where she is. And she definitely can move herself already in this. Uh-oh. Are you having fun in there? Huh? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at you. Okay, it's time to get your brother down. Even though he hasn't finished his breakfast. He's working on feeding himself with his therapist. So he ends up finishing it with her. So sometimes I'm thinking that he's like waiting for her or something. Are you not hungry, baby? No. No, you don't want to get down? Come on, we gotta get you down for therapy. So, of course, today I was like, okay, I'm gonna put her down for a nap while Phoenix is in therapy. And then once I put him down, I was gonna lay right down. I'm like, I'm just gonna lay down because I feel so exhausted. She was sleeping for 20 minutes. I think she went to sleep at 11.50 and it is 12.30 right now. She's been up for 10 minutes, so she took like a quick power. So there goes my nap. I'm hoping that once I get Phoenix down for a nap, she'll be ready for a nap again because this really wasn't a nap. Maybe after her next bottle, but I don't know. She seems a little energized to watch her take a nap when he's going to wake up, so... And I didn't even say that I wanted to nap because I said, if I say it, I'm going to jinx myself. So I'm not going to say it. So I didn't say it, but I thought it. So now I can't even think things because thinking things jinxes them. <sighs> Two weeks from now. Hi. Say hi. 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 Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> This is the closest they'll get to dressing. <laughs> like, I like they have the same blue and gray pants. I just got a picture. These pants actually were Phoenix's. She needs a diaper change. No, no, mommy's. Thank you. He just grabbed my phone from my hand. Um, he just finished therapy, so getting him ready for his nap. Look at her, look at her. Go. Oh, oh you just gonna roll. <laughs> Just rolls everywhere. She's trying. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Thank God I was in slow motion. You gotta be careful. Are you okay? Are you okay? Say I'm okay. Look at his face. He was laughing. And look at her. Oh boy. Are you guys twinsies today? As close as you'll get to twinsies. His shirt has blue and some white. So her shirt has blue and some white. And gray pants. She needs a diaper change. I just changed him. I gotta get their babas ready. And hopefully nap time. Definitely nap time for him. For her, I I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably wait a little bit. Go, go, go. Oh, so close, mama. She loves trying to grab that puzzle. Oh, let's change your bum. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Go ahead. Nope, you gonna sit down? Yay, baby! Yay! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All your toys will be here when we get back. Mommy, hold it for you? No? He's gonna attempt to go up by himself. One. You gotta count every time I go up the stairs, guys. Two. Two. Three. Look at you with no hands. You're supposed to be holding on. Four, five, good job, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We don't even have twenty stairs, guys, but we have to count to twenty. First it was 13, now it's 20 for some reason. 
one of the things I don't really fight them on. I just let them be. Come on, let's go put your music on. Come on, music on. You're going to finish all your milk before you get in there. Come on, Bubba's. Get to your room. Go. Go, go, go. He like doesn't take a breath. He like slurps it down. Look, Mommy, put your puzzle in there. Put your music on, Bub. Go ahead. Here, let me hold it. No. Good job. Dude, the scooter's hot. Come on. Oh, he's looking for more stuff to put in there. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Got my little laundry helper. Put her in here. Couches are still here, guys. I'm supposed to pick them up this week. So, I got... I don't, know, here. I don't know. I'm gonna try maybe at two o'clock to put her down because she doesn't seem tired. I don't want to try to force her because then it'll just be more work for both of us, right, Mama? Right? You like being in there? Look at you. Look at you go. I'm just getting my brother's toys while I sit in my walk. <laughs> she pulls it down from there and then pulls, but she can't get the screw out because it's screwed. <laughs> What, are you mad? Are you mad you can't get it out? I gave you one before. Here. Look, she has one there, but she... Oh, did you give me the back? Thank you. No, it's for you. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it's for you. <laughs> She's too... Fun. Oh, I didn't grab it quick enough. It's just so funny how she grabs onto that to pull it closer to her. You're so funny. She's, she's getting those sleepy, sleepy eyes. So I think I might be able to. Here, you want to chew on this for a little bit when mommy finishes here? Yeah. It's good. Nice and cold. Okay, so Avery didn't nap so gratefully, but I got about 30 minutes and she woke up. I don't know what's wrong with her little cat power naps lately, but whatever and I don't know if this is just boy versus girl or my babies but I feel that Avery is such a whiny baby and if you've ever met her you're probably gonna disagree she's a very good baby don't get me wrong like you take her out she behaves um and she's good the whole time we're out however she's very like sensitive where like if I put her down on the bed to change her and I put her down not as softly like you know I just let her body fall a little she's like eh. I like there's certain when John talks in a certain tone or does certain things and she's like eh. like you know it makes she's she cries very easily and the things that she would cry at that Phoenix would laugh at um, obviously I know every kid is different but in my case it's boy against girl so I wonder like are all girls like this whiny needy like us women are <laughs> or is it just my kids you know one and another if she was a boy she could still be this way but Phoenix was not like that Phoenix was very independent from the beginning he can play by himself he can do stuff by himself she's pretty independent she could do a lot for her herself like she doesn't always need me there but she sometimes she gets these moments where she's just like eh, like she's sitting and she falls over and it's very slowly and she'll just be like ah, ah. she's whiny <laughs> and um phoenix was not like that at all and he still isn't like that honestly um phoenix hit his head and he just keeps on going so i think it's probably girl against boy or maybe just kid you know different kids um but it's just pretty funny because i'm like wow and i was a very cry cry baby when i was little so I'm like, oh, maybe it's a girl thing, or maybe she just got my jeans. Who knows? So there are the meatballs. I just put it on warm. The meatball subs smells so good in here, and I gotta rush and go get Phoenix. 
So we just got done with therapy. Phoenix actually had a pretty good session. We tried some meatballs, which is something he hasn't really eaten. He doesn't eat a lot of meats, to be totally honest. Um, but she was showing me this technique uh, with a washcloth on the face um, to desensitize and get him right, to do it right before trying new foods. And we did it, and he actually took like three bites of it and swallowed it, so that was good. And we tried with, with an animal cracker, and he wasn't having it. He, he, he put it in his mouth, though, which is a big step. Normally, he won't even open his mouth. Um, but he didn't bite down. His thing is he he can't just take a bite off of something. It's it's like hard for him to grasp. So we're working on it. Um, I was giving a re I gave her her water during so that she you know was entertained. Come here, Bubba, so I can fix your pants. And she got soaked with water. I didn't even notice. I felt so bad. And she was like whining a little. Come here. Let me fix your pants. Is you gonna fall? She's jumping. Um, so I. Uh, was fixing um fixing what am i saying oh so then i gave uh i had to t change her because she was soaked and i must have given her way too many of those old cheetos because i just kept giving it to her because we were trying to like figure it out phoenix anyway i got their last of their um easter basket stuff so if you haven't seen the video go check it out on my mommy channel and friday i will put phoenix's up tomorrow but i don't know when you're watching this but phoenix's easter basket will be up tomorrow um so i'm so excited and look it came so perfect i can just put this right like this in the easter basket but i think phoenix's bathing suit is too big i got a 4t i don't know why i really have no idea why but i think it's gonna be too big so that's not gonna be good because his last one I think was 2t I don't know why I didn't get 3t I have no idea why I think it's because Walmart runs small so I wanted to be like cautious just in case it was too small and I don't think they have these in store so I don't even think like if I return it I would have to maybe I can do site to store though yeah I probably could do that I'm gonna check if I can do site to store because I know this is gonna be too big on him so like look how big this looks I don't know if you guys can tell but just looks really big I'm gonna try it on him but and then I got Avery's bathing suit which I think looks small <laughs> not small but from here to June I feel like she's not gonna fit into it like like she, it's just gonna be tight on her especially with a diaper definitely not gonna be able to use a cloth diaper but, and I got it in 24 months but maybe from here to then she'll um, inch out like stretch out you know as they get a little older they start like stretching out so and I got some more undershirts for Phoenix because he always puts his hands like, so we always put undershirts on him. I got him a bigger size. And then the these things, which are so cute. So I'm officially, I think, done with their Easter baskets. Everything's here. And so that's good. But I'm going to try to exchange Phoenix's now that, I, now that I'm talking to you guys. I think that I might be able to change it just return that one at the store and then do the other one site to store if they have that option i'm gonna check right now okay so it's definitely too big on him he looks so cute though <laughs> like here it's like you see it's supposed to be look at this it's like a regular shirt oh why did i get you a big size <laughs> okay Avery, she's tired are you tired mama you always get tired around this time you should have took a longer nap huh six o'clock so i don't know if i should have been Try to get her now. Yep, and they don't have site to store. Just checked, so I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to return it and pay shipping Beast. to get a. Cause I like it. it. Looks cute on him, like the color and stuff. Are you modeling? Are you modeling? There's a case of water under there that he's counting and playing with. What are you doing under there, buddy? Watch your head, okay? I'm like Avery trying to get his puzzle. Doing what she can. Look at her. She comes. 